Hello everybody, Adrian Plus here. Yes, and Bridget, hello. And this is week number 115 <laughs> in Sounding the Shallows. Mm. That's a lot of sounding of shallows. <laughs> yeah, well last last time we did it, this, we were on holiday, weren't we? We were, we were in Scotland, yeah. Which yep. seems like a very long time ago, it really. It does, and um, it's been sport all the way, hasn't it, over the <laughs> yeah. last few weeks? Well, the sport we played on holiday was probably not quite quite at the uh, level of some of the sport we've been watching since. I mean, we played a lot of frisbee, frisbee yeah. and a bit of <laughs> French cricket. And, and uh, our two sons played a strange form of table tennis. They did. Involving a, a, a table on the deck outside our cottage. Um, but it was quite good, actually, quite inventive and, and energetic. Yeah. But no, it wasn't us I was thinking of. I was thinking of I the, know. the public sports which have come past on the heels of each other. Well, I think that must be something to do with COVID, mustn't it? Because, you know, we seem to be... I mean, we well, we had the women, the lionesses and all that, and then we had the Commonwealth Games, and now we've got the Euro um, Championships. Uh, mm. So, yeah, if you like watching sport, there's a lot to watch. And we are acquiring an enormous amount of knowledge that we don't understand, don't we? <laughs> I, th I think especially in things like, anyway. um, yeah. like diving, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you said uh, when we were watching, you said, yeah, helicopter legs, you know. Helicopter and, uh, feet, I think it feet was. Feet, right. Yeah, feet. No, 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 he's got helicopter feet. <laughs> and there's a lot of, we can, we can really get into the over-rotation. Over-rotation. I mean, you watch four dives, it should look exactly the same. <laughs> And they either say, oh, no, or they say, oh, that is fantastic. Well, we just know if it's a big splash, well, it's I, not the, terribly the good. Well, the splash is important. If the splash is very slight, obviously, that's good. Yeah. But I, uh, I think we know about pike position, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we know all about pike. I don't know what it is, but we, we know the word. <laughs> and there's double pike, which is not a large fish. <laughs> Apparently, it's doing it twice, whatever the first pike was. <laughs> but I have to say, watching Fred's daughter... Oh, winning her gold medal. Don't call her that. She's oh, called I Andrea. Know. She's not French. I daughter. know, but it's just he was so thrilled yeah, with her, well, and she was so lovely when she yeah, won. We really enjoyed. Was. Well, that's enjoyed the thing. That. Let's be honest. That I think a lot of people love athletics because of the relationships between people. At the end of most things, you see people hugging each other, the first, second, and third, and the, simply because they all know how incredibly fine the margins are. But um, yes, well, um, yes. Did you ever have a sport you loved or played a lot? <laughs> no, no, darling, you're talking to me. You know, I was I was third-rate tennis player and that was about it, really. You didn't race around with a lacrosse <laughs> no, racket I, back? No, uh, we didn't play uh, lacrosse. We weren't no. at that sort of school. Well, I love <laughs> rugby, but I, I have to say, and cricket. I wasn't very good at cricket, but I, I, I loved playing and I loved playing rugby. Yeah. And when you play rugby, every now and then, by some miracle... The ball lands in your hands and then you have an opportunity to run as fast as you can to the end of the pitch and put it on the ground, which is a try, or to give it to someone else to do that. And I mm. I just love that game. Mm. Really enjoy I mean, it. I have to say, I know some people feel this about cricket, but I, I must say, watching rugby, it always reminds me of our boys when they were about seven, enjoying having a great scuffle and a, and a I know you call it a scrum, I called it a bundle when they all just right, fell yeah. on top of each other. Well, most thing they did, things they did when they were young ended in a fight, didn't they? When <laughs> well, they did sort of... drama and they had an improvisation, they always ended up hitting each other well, or I pretending think, to hit I each other. I think boys right. and primary school drama, I think there's a lot of that. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, this this business of being an armchair, armchair watcher, hmm. um, yeah, we, we were looking, weren't we, at language? And that the fact that we may not be very active, a lot of people in England are probably not very active. But um... our language is stuffed with uh, energetic metaphors, <laughs> um, and we we made this list quite a long time ago, actually. But it's quite interesting in view of what's what's just been happening to see how much we appear to be using our energy. <laughs> uh, we've got a few examples here. We jump into the shower. Uh, we jump on the bandwagon. We jump to conclusions. <laughs> we nip to the loo. <laughs> we slap on some makeup. Well, you don't, and I don't. Well, but... Not when anyone's around. <laughs> no, we whack on the aftershave. 
we pop our clothes off at the doctors, I hate that phrase, we slip into something more comfortable and we fall into bad habits. Yeah, and and then there's some other stuff, isn't there? We hurl insults. We don't just, you know, just give them, we hurl them. We kick bad habits. We yeah. run into trouble. We burst into laughter. We tackle the washing up. It's very energetic. Tackle we, the what? Oh, washing the washing up, up yes. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. grapple with problems. We yeah. wrestle with decisions. And then we spring into action and we hammer a point. Well, it's, we haven't finished yet. <laughs> we stretch a, a point as well. We bend the rules. It's, it's real sort of I know. Uh, world activity, world athletic activity, isn't it? We hop into a car. <laughs> yes, which would look very odd. Now, what about this one? We smack our lips. <laughs> we lift the atmosphere. We throw a tantrum. We fly into a temper. We, we've already said this one, we hurl insults. Oh, yeah. And we plunge into despair. Oh, there's your divey one, isn't it? And we raise the alarm. We're back to the weightlifting. We strike a bargain. We catch a cold. We pull out all the stops. We push the boundaries. We move the goalposts. We dive into the emails. We do, don't we? We dive we into the emails. We climb into yes, bed. Why do we climb into bed? That the bed is really, really high. Yeah, well, if, if it's bunks, you would, I suppose. <laughs> yes, and what was the last one in our list? And we carry the world on our shoulders. <laughs> well, and I bet uh, there are others that other people can think of, and we'd love to hear them, but that was just our list, wasn't so here's it? Here's the question. Look, if, if it's true we're doing all this, jumping and nipping and <laughs> slipping Popping. and climbing and falling and <laughs> kicking and running and bursting and... Whatever else they were, grappling, wrestling, springing, hammering, stretching, all that stuff. How come any of us are obese? How can <laughs> no, that be? I it's don't all know. metaphor, isn't it's it? It's all metaphor and it but, all makes up for the fact we're not actually doing it. just shows how important the thought is. Yes. Because as, as, a, as I said, our language is, is stuffed with those metaphors. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know something, I mean... I, I have loved watching so so many odd bits. I, probably other people are like me. I catch one little bit and then I'm standing there for 10 minutes or I turn on the news and hear something. And the thing that... There was one moment that really hit me this time. It's a, a wonderful Scottish girl who's... Uh, well, woman, I suppose, whose mother was also a superb athlete. And I'm going to pronounce her name wrong. It was Eilish, but it's the her Eilish McCoglan. 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 Yeah. And, and she, I mean, because she got gold in the Commonwealth Games, but mm. then she got silver in the 1,000 metres. And she was doing incredibly well. And getting silver is also amazing. But she said, I had tired legs. She'd yeah. done the Commonwealth Games. She did two races in the Commonwealth Games. And I thought, that's it, isn't it? She got tired legs, which means that however much her motivation, however much she wanted it, her legs yeah. wouldn't do it. They were tired. Yeah. They could not sprint to the finishing line. Mm. I, d I don't know if that made you think anything, Adrian. Well, it certainly made me think of how I have felt in the recent past that I think I reached a sort of point where I felt I didn't have the inner energy or the mental energy to be responsive to people and situations in in a way that is 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 how I actually am. Mm. And it was as though I lost the energy in my uh, moral leg, no moral legs. Uh, uh, just the, no, but I do know the, what you mean. The, the muscle required to yeah. do the thing that you really yeah. want to do, actually. Yeah. And I mean, I think that can apply to so many other things, can't it? To your courage, you know, you 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 can't be brave anymore, or you get to a point where you can't feel compassionate anymore with a situation that you you have done up till then. Yeah. Or even maybe something I don't know, maybe something like hope. You know, you can't. You can't find it in yourself to hope for a while. Mm. You've got tired legs. Do yeah. you think that applies to faith as well? Well, I was uh, talking to somebody about this uh, the other day, and one of the things that struck me was that there, there are two kinds of experience, but it's not as simple as that. But for those who've had an experience of feeling close to God or coming through a period when things were okay and you felt con affirmed and confirmed in what you believed and mm -hmm. um 
you 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 can reach a patch. I mean, you can call it Dark Knight of the Soul if you like. Or I think Tired Legs sounds tired pretty legs good. Tired Legs sounds a bit <laughs> yes. so John yeah. of the Tired of the Tired Legs. <laughs> yes. um, I, I think for those for those who have a memory and a oh. time in their lives that was good, yeah, you 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 perhaps can handle it better. I don't know if you've mm. never had that. If you've never had a consistent, and the same applies to relationships with you know as children, and you've never been loved mm. as you should have been if that isn't in you it's very hard yeah. to make it come back because you can never make it mm. come back so you think yes yeah, so it's quite interesting what you said i mean i wonder whether it is even more difficult if you used to be able to do something and you kind of know how to do it but yeah. you actually can't do it anymore um, yeah. You know, a lot of a lot of very fit people, a lot of these athletes, they get to a point where they they can't get medals anymore. Yeah. They they can't make their body do what they used to do. And I wonder whether that's almost more difficult, even with something like faith, where you you didn't even have to work at it. It was just there. It was springing about in you. It was you know it was bouncing about in you. You didn't have any doubts about about the whole thing yeah i i think i made it sound a little too simple that division mm. i mean I, there there are lots of different experiences people have but i think the issue of trust is the one that surfaces mm. i mean i know someone uh, emailed us or me recently in a state of despair having having looked at what god god doesn't do yeah. uh, and does do or doesn't do mainly and saying so what's going on you know why what does it mean mm. um mm. and if 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 you if you have if you have not built a residue of trust or a platform of trust it's very difficult to put those problems on a shelf mm. if if you do have a level of trust um you can at least put things aside for a, for a while mm and wait to recover that well because i think that's trust. very interesting because you trust because you trust what do you trust the situation yourself god what, 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 what? well i can only speak for myself i mean i i we've been very fortunate haven't we we've had some great times in the work we've done of course and yeah. with people and and i i have it really enjoyed over recent times beginning to to feel a genuine fondness for God, which I think yeah. we mentioned before, and I can't dispel that at all mm. because it it was there, and it's made such a difference to me. Mm. Um, yeah. uh, when when things uh, like when I was in hospital and things seemed all upside down, um, there was a bit of darkness around, but mm. I I don't want to sound as though I have any easy grasp over this but mm. I just feel like a child who walked with someone he trusted mm. and the trust is still there mm. but a bit a bit worried about what's going on well, uh, at the moment so I, yeah. I, I'm saying it really badly yeah. but, uh, but coming back like to that. the athletes coming back to the gymnasts and the what you find again and again, obviously they're told to thank their team. I mean, that goes, you know, yeah. without saying really. But it's more than that. They trust their coaches. And very often you get the feeling that their coaches said, you've got to stop for a mm. while. Yeah. You've got to give your body time to recover. You cannot kid yourself that your body will do just what mm. you want it to do. I, I was thinking when I was watching one of these things, because we reckoned, didn't we, that we did GCSE... Um, PE three times in our lives because we had yeah. three sons who did GCSE PE and we did a lot of revision we with did. them yeah. <laughs> and we both thought that we could jolly well probably get an A star if we We're did the exam. We're also experts on the knee joints. <laughs> yes we are we yeah. absolutely we are. The synovial the knee fluid and the... Synovial fluid no problem <laughs> yes. there. But what I was going to say was yeah. I also remember there was this thing rice which is oh, um, yeah rest ice compression and elevation and that was sort of yeah. drummed into you that what you needed to do in order to recover if you had bruised hurt sprained yeah. Yeah. whatever it was what were they part again? of your rest? body they were rest ice what's that actual ice 
yeah. yeah. Because, you know, if you're if for right. any any yeah. injury, compression, yeah. putting a bandage around yeah. it and, and putting your leg up in the air, elevation. Yeah. But I was thinking it was so sort of simple. You do those things and the limb will get better. And, and for a lot of these athletes, they have to face the fact that it's not going to be the next day that yeah. they're going to have to give their body itself a chance to recover yeah. and and that responsibility as a coach yeah. to huge, not push yeah. your person yeah. into doing more than they can do in order that in the long term they'll be able to achieve again that's not easy is it well i must say i've been immensely impressed and su- not surprised but impressed by the way athletes talk about their coaches almost all of them about yeah. how they they turn to them for support yeah. and advice and encouragement sometimes say you're doing the the hammer or shot or something after every time uh, you go out there or javelin or or whatever your sport is in the swimming to say what what do you, or the diving what do you think happened there and get yeah. a few words which encourage yeah. Yeah. and suggest a slightly different approach to yeah. what's going on. I remember Darcy Bustle when she was a judge on Strictly, which is such a different thing. But she said when she was a little girl and she was growing up in her dancing classes, they always gave her a word of encouragement and something to work on. Yeah. So not negativity, but, but something that needed work yeah. and a word of encouragement. And yeah. that word of encouragement is something that you have to trust that the person really means it so mm. we're back to that trust thing as well and yeah. encouraging each other yeah. you know we need encouragement or we do get tired legs don't we i certainly i've known people who are supposed to have a gift of encouragement but that have ended up encouraging people into things they can't do ah I mean, yes uh, which is yes. which is disastrous yes. Adrian, i really think you should do the high jump or the pole vault next week Surely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, should I should I actually attempt a fifteen foot pole vault? Yeah, because well, why because not? the world says I can't, but <laughs> God says you can do anything in in, in my name. Christ, who I, oh, <clears throat> yes. yeah, yeah, well, well obviously there that's we rubbish, are. Yes, yeah. it, it, the it is the trouble is responsibility, though, isn't it? It is the trouble. The trouble is there are there are exceptions to everything that you say ought to happen or does happen or should happen. Right, and I was thinking about. Um, Jesus, as we always end up thinking, and that story of the the Syrophoenician woman, we we agreed with Bridget recently that neither of us can ever spell Syrophoenician. The Syro bit's without all right. Looking it up, I, is it? I don't. I still don't know what it starts with. Anyway, um, so what you gather from when you read about that is that Jesus was very tired, and he'd apparently been lent a house or something to get away from everything and he's sitting in the house in a saviour shaped hollow in the wall Mm. thinking oh rather like by the well where the woman yeah same sort of thing really worn out and Mm. thinking ah bad enough and then this woman presents herself somehow gets in finds out where he is and he's already said he doesn't want to speak to her and he has a conversation with her which is I think really charming if you look under the surface with him discovering she's witty, she's passionate, she's hurt, she's very worried. Mm. And he suddenly knows it's it's work as usual. And Well, maybe at that moment it stops feeling like work. Yeah, maybe because it does. Because he's maybe lit up does, yeah. by yeah. by her. Yeah. And uh, They have a lot in common, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. The wit, the compassion, yeah. the care. Yeah, of course. And he, he eventually says to her, um, your your daughter's fine. Mm. Go home. Um yeah. so and, and it's certainly our experience that at times you think you've got away from something and Something is put in front of you, and you do think, no, this this has to be dealt with. But, but don't are... you think as well, Adrian, that sometimes it's up to somebody else to say, yes, that's going to be what you're going to do, but right now you mm. need to stop for a little while. I mean, I know, I, we're not Jesus, and he got really tired. Mm. And, and I worry sometimes that, um, I mean, I remember a friend of ours who was going on sabbatical, and and his church council basically said well so you know what are you going to be working on on your sabbatical what are you Mm. going to be presenting us what new visions are you going to be bringing back 
and he had tired legs. Mm. He needed to rest. Yeah. He needed mm. to put his feet up, elevation, you yeah, know. He needed that. to give his heart a bit of space and freedom mm. so his imagination could, and you know, whatever is good for him, whether it was fishing or walking yeah. or whatever, but it certainly wasn't necessary for him doing some massive dissertation or getting <coughs> panicky about what he was going to bring back to the church. Mm. Rest has got to be rest. Of hasn't course, it? yeah. But making those judgments is not is not easy. But I agree absolutely. There comes a time when you, well, I hope one has a friend who will say exactly that. Yeah. Time to stop for a little while. Yeah. Um, and and then who knows? Elijah, one of my heroes, only because every time God took his hands off the reins, he was. But he realised what a waste of time so it was. One of, one of your friends uh, might be better than one of your heroes. Yeah, I mean, he, but man, you well, understand I him. mean, that Elijah, yeah, Elijah had, had had enough, as we all know, sat under a bush and said, I've had enough. Exactly those words, or in his own language. And um, uh, he was looked after for a little while. He was, yeah. he, And obviously God agreed with him. Gave him a little Someone cake. came and made him a drink and a piece of cake and said, right, no. Off we go again. You get going because you've got 40 miles to go. I know. And I know. Uh, away he goes again. So, yeah. Yeah. so look for the look for the cake. Look for the water. Look for the right time to stop. But and look for the moment when you can encourage somebody or you can help them to stop for a little while. Yeah. It's a two-way yeah. thing, really. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think the Euro Championships are coming to the end, Adrian. And. Uh, I'm going to go now and practice the pole vault. Thing. Pole vault. <laughs> I well, think you should. See you next week. Bye-bye.